go. Oh, get a little zoom going. <laughs> All right. I don't even know if I want to start this intro yet because these guys are gonna yeah, take forever. Yeah. They're gonna stop and watch it too. Like, oh, we, oh, he's recording. Okay. Yeah, we got a little delay here, guys. We're stuck here at the launch. These guys are taking forever. But we're here. This boat's not starting. I know. The boat in front of us isn't starting right now. <laughs> Here's the legend that's gonna be taking us out today. Trevor, say hi. He's a little camera shy. I'm camera shy for sure. <laughs> He's gonna show you guys tips and tricks and you know how he catches 54 muskies in a year so far to date, which is insane. That blows my mind. And then we got one rod, one reel with us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is D Yang. D Yang Bass, the legend. He's gonna be throwing some like some bass stuff today, which he thinks he thinks his bass gear is going to outperform musky gear. Yeah. Which, that's like an insult to Trevor. <laughs> Trevor, that, that's an insult to you, isn't it? The downsizing could work on cold front days, but we'll see what Ooh. happens. Okay. Yeah, now just making me look bad in front of there the camera, it's fine. <clears throat> Thank you, Trevor. But anyways, well, we're still going to win with the musky gear, don't we? Absolutely. Hey. Absolutely. This guy's going down his little bass gear, and uh, hopefully we get on the water in the next three hours or so. These guys right here with the prank. Cast number one. We'll be upgrading soon. This guy doesn't even have a leader on yet. Rookie. It's called a bucktail. Giant spinner, right? Okay. Giant rooster tail. Called a bucktail, jeez. Dude, you're gonna be screaming if you get hit on that thing. I know, I know. That's what I want. Trevor's gonna be like, gosh, these guys are girls. I know. Gosh. Hey, Trevor, do you only do you only figure eight when you see it behind your lure? Nope, every time. Every time? Okay. Just in case. Hey, good luck, baby. I don't know how to do that. You're too short. <laughs> I can't get the rod off hard. Bro, it's literally like this. Why do you think Asian people don't musky fish, bro? I'm holding the rod twice my size, right? So who got you into musky fishing? Uh, really myself. Yeah. My my grandpa used to do it when he was back in, like in college. Okay. And my my grandpa and my brother are really big walleye fishermen. Okay. And I just got bored of walleye. So yeah. I wanted more of a thrill. Yeah. I came over to musky fishing. And it took me about two months, two or three months to catch my first fish, and I was like addicted ever, yep. ever since. Yep. I just love like the, the whole chase behind it. Yeah. It's kind of like deer hunting. It was like two months where the first two months I would go out every single day and not see a single fish. Yeah. And it was it was miserable, but I loved it. I don't know. 
Most people's mistakes on a figure eight is they'll come in and they won't make wide turns. Like they'll have little sharp turns like this. The key is definitely to have really wide turns so that fish has enough room in the figure eight to turn. Cause they're just, there's there's big fish. So you need to make sure you have wide turns so they have enough room to swim around. And, and you said to reel it up a little bit, right? Yeah, like what you what you were just doing like a couple times is you get your line out a little bit. It's like out here, and it's really hard to get out that way because it just makes really sharp turns like that. So, so it goes to just reel your line up. I go like an inch before my leader. That way you can get way out there. And you said you've had about what over 50% of your fish at figure eight this year. Oh yeah, definitely. Especially now they're they're chasing. Um, like in the past. What was it? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we saw 20 fish. We raised 20 fish in three days. So they're definitely following a lot. And um, the strikes that we did have were all both sides. So that's going to be the game plan today, probably. So I just have the feeling Trevor's going to get the first, yeah, oh yeah. The first follow, yeah, at least. Not, not I know, right? I'm like, oh, frick. We're in the, we're in the presence of a god. <laughs> we're in the presence of a god. Yeah. Fish, 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 fish. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 I see oh it. God. Yeah, I see it. Yep. Yeah, he is on it. Get your, get the camera out, get the camera out, get the camera out. I don't want to jinx Get the camera out, get the camera out. Yeah, right behind you, right behind you. That's slow. Should I, should I start? Yeah, I saw that. Whoa, that was intense. Yeah, right now. Yep. Pull up, pull up. We'll pull back on that fish later. Okay. Yeah, I thought he was going to hit you for sure. He circled on you pretty good. Guys, that was a first fish. Yeah. First fish was a tank. Here we go, bro. Fist bump to that. That got me, uh, got me a little, little shaky, a little bit. I thought he was gonna get it. Oh, hell yeah. I, gonna I didn't want to, I didn't want to move because I didn't want to, I didn't want to disrupt that or anything. I was gonna go for the net as soon as he hooked it, which was probably be too late. Okay. Okay. He's he's yelling at me right now. He said record right now before we get back to the spot. So quick update. If you saw on the GoPro, he had a follow on the on the Medusa. Medusa. Yep. Yeah. Up like a 43, 44 incher. And, yep. Uh, about 10 minutes ago, majors in one minute. We're about to go back on the fish. Yeah. Hopefully, we can get her to eat. Yeah, so the majors in 10 minutes. We'll explain no, that minute. in one minute. I'm sorry. So, we'll explain what that is later on if you don't know what that is. But now we're going with a lot of uh, jerk paws, baits. I'm throwing the suic here. He's going to throw. Are you going to keep throwing that? Yep. Okay, and then what are you going to throw, David? White He's going to throw white swim bait right there. Right there. So, we're. it's like we're going back into battle right now. Ooh. We geared up. We circled around the spot. Now, we're going right back into it. Hopefully we can't hook up on it again. This guy, this guy's, he's so serious. He's serious business about this stuff. <laughs> so I'm not gonna mess around with start fishing right now. Okay, so explaining more what majors and minors are, which um, before fishing with Trevor, I had no idea actually what majors and minors are. So I'm gonna do my best to explain them. I wrote down some notes, did my research, and I'm like, I gotta figure this thing out because what you guys did see on camera was during the minor, he had that 44, we think it was about a 44, following his bait you know, on the figure eight. And then what you didn't see was right after that was another fish, literally the next spot after that, about five, ten minutes after that, follow it. he had another follow right next to the boat. And he's like, hey guys, this is because of the majors minors. I'm like, whoa, I gotta figure this thing out because I never heard of it. And it was, I mean, it was just real because I saw him figure eight two fish within the major I think I think it was a major or minor I'm not sure which one it was but whatever it was it, it worked because he had two fish literally figure eight right next to the boat follower right next to the boat when he said they were gonna follow so um, basically what majors and minors are minors are minor minor periods are when the moon is on the horizon okay and what that does is that creates low tide so basically the moon is on the horizon 
and it has a push-pull effect on the tide and actually creates low tide. And then for there are two majors and two minors per uh, per 24 hours, and they're usually 12 hours and 20 minutes apart. So if you're musky fishing, these are the times that you really want to be on the water. These are times that you really want to hit uh, your confidence spots where you know where they're, you know these spots are holding fish, and in these time periods they last between roughly two hours. So when a major or minor hits, and I'll show you how to figure that out on your phone, you want to be on some really good spots where you know there's big fish, you know where these spots are holding big fish, and you want to throw you know baits that you know that are going to work, and especially this time in the fall now when the fish are getting massive and they're being lethargic and slow and they're looking for one big meal during the day. Uh, you wanna fish during these times, these major and minor times. And I'll show you how to do that right now, hang on. So you can go onto your phone and the app that I downloaded was, let me see what it's called. It's called Fishing Calendar. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's free, it's called Fishing Calendar. That's what it looks like, right? Let's see if it focuses, focus. And let me get this to focus. Okay, there it is, the bottom app right there. That's what it looks like. There's other apps, let's wait till this focuses. Okay, there's other apps that you can figure this out with, but this is the app that I have. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So on here, you can see, Okay, so the majors and minors are at, today, they were at 4.54 a.m., 11.09 a.m., and 5.25 p.m. And there's another one at 11.37 p.m. So that's what they look like right there. Wait till that focuses, come on focus. Let me hide my face. Okay, so you see those peaks right there? Those are the major and minor times. It shows you on the screen too where the sun is and it'll show you where the moon is. And uh, basically during those peak times that you see on there, you really want to be at your spots, your hot spots and you know where fish are stacked up on or you've heard of fish being at certain spots, wherever it is. You want to be on the water fishing during these times and uh, you can get this app for free. This free version, it only allows you to look at one day at a time. Um, I think if you buy it, it's like two or three dollars and it allows you access to more days at a time, which is important if you're, you know, weekend warrior like myself and you want to see a couple days in advance when you're going to be, you know, out into the water, what's going to be the best times. And uh, this is a really important app um, and important strategy, especially with musky fishing. I didn't realize how much uh, musky fishermen live and die by this technique and, um, this I don't know if you call it strategy or just um, something to pay attention to that I never knew about until now. So um, uh, let's see, is there anything else I can tell you about? Fishing efficiency, it also tells you that too, I'm not sure what that means. Top left up here on, on the phone and then the top right says moon phase 64%. Um, like I said, there's a lot more to figure out with this. I think you can plan accordingly on the calendar as well. You can you can check out what past moon phases there were or what's coming up. You can check there on the uh, on the calendar, which I think comes when you buy the app. But um, yeah, I mean, continue watching this video. You're gonna see us. You're gonna see us boat a musky, not necessarily in the major and minor times, but you're gonna see us boat it. Uh, at a great time, which is right before sunset. That's right when the muskies start feeding. So like I said, it's not necessarily when you can catch muskies. So don't let that discourage you. Oh, I can only be on the water during these, these periods. This is just a, um, just a confidence booster and something that'll give you, um, I don't know, just another technique that people are using to fish hot spots. And that's when fish get really, really active. But that's not necessarily when fish will react to baits because fish are reacting. You can get a reaction bite all day long. Um, what you'll see in this video, you'll see the muskie come right before dark. And uh, man, this was just, this was an eventful day. We grind it out all day long. But anyways, I'm gonna stop talking, continue watching, and you're gonna see us boat a nice muskie. 
that's the frustration of the hot mask. Are we moving? Yeah. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in. Yeah. It starts back up at like three. Yeah, oh, okay, go. This guy, I just did, I just did this video, and he keeps forgetting to turn on the mic. <laughs> this guy, man. Anyways, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with him? Okay, so right now what we're doing, we're following Trevor. I'm in, I got my truck, we went back to my house. Now we're following him down the road. We're going to a different lake right now. Uh, this morning we only raised two fish. We had one really close to biting. We been throwing a whole mess of different lures. Uh, we were throwing large swim baits, bucktails, uh, suix, a bunch of paws and jerk baits, medusas. Uh, so that's really what we got going on at the last lake. He said this lake now that we're going to is his confidence lake. He's caught, he's boated 30 fish this year from this lake. So this is go-to. He's pretty confident we're gonna get one tonight. And we're, we're pretty we're pretty positive. We're, we're staying confident. That's very important when you're musky fishing, just stay confident. And uh, this guy, he's not used to the musky life. He's, he's throwing little bass lures right now. He's throwing little bass spinners. He can't handle it right now. Nope. That's all right. I don't, I don't blame him. He's throwing lures basically the size of him. <laughs> <laughs> he's throwing little Davids out there. Yep. Uh, so uh, what else? You got anything else to add? I mean, how you feeling right now? I mean, we're pretty tired, but I mean, we got food. Yeah, it's like I said, you just got to stay positive, man. Musky fishing can be discouraging, yeah. but you just got to enjoy it while it lasts, you know. Yeah. We saw two that surfaced a little bit. Yeah. That was heart taking. Like, yeah, it gets like yeah, literally heart, heart attack man. type stuff. And yeah, that's man. just really important when it comes was, to musky fishing. That was crazy. When it gets slow, you just have to you just have to stay confident and like you never know on your next cast you could raise one or you could boat one. So you're just looking for just different things. Yep. I mean, the main thing I look for is just like hot spots. Just stay confident and. You know, just stay confident and positive about keep you what you're in the doing. Water. Yeah. yeah, keep you lured in the water. That's like, you, like you just got to have confidence in what you're doing. You just got to know that it's going to work eventually sometime. It's just hard to get them on film. Oh, yeah. Like, do it properly on film and, like, oh, part. man, these fish. Yeah. They don't like the camera. They don't even like, they don't like you to begin with. <laughs> or they do, do they like the camera? <sighs> we're going to get them, though. We're going to get them. We're going to land one. Yeah, we're going to get them tonight. Got to stay positive. We're going to get them. So stay tuned, guys. Alright, play two. Make number dose. Come on, bro. Nope, that's a fish. Okay. Yep, it's a fish. It's a fish. Good job, good job. Keep going, keep going. Right around, right around. Can do it, can do it. Can do it, can do it. 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 Big one, but it's a good one. We'll take it, dude.
<laughs> that was a killer. That was a nice net down there. Oh, baby. <sighs> Got it. <sighs> okay. Well, I don't even know how to explain that. That uh, it felt weird, huh? Dude, I, I don't even know, dude. It seemed like I was on the rocks. <sighs> it seemed like I was on the rocks, dude. Wow, what a what a rush. We've been grinding all day for these fish. Uh, and this act, actually an hour before this, I missed a fish in this almost the exact location. And uh, not a giant, but uh, we'll definitely we'll take, take it. We'll take it, bro. <laughs> this kind of day, yeah, we'll, we'll take, take it. it. Is it gonna be, oh, 35. 30. 35. And a half. 35 and a half. 35 and a half. We'll nice, take it. Bro. We'll take it, bro. Here, yeah. you switch. You go back there. Come here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back here. Go up there. Okay. There you go. Yeah. You got it. Bench down right here. Right there. Right in there. Hard. Okay. okay. You on the knee? Go on yeah, we'll go on the knee. Yeah. All right. Really healthy looking fish. We've been grinding all day for this, and he uh, he did an awesome net job. And uh, just talking me through it, just working all day, just talking us techniques and figure eighting and yeah. Oh, yeah. 30, everything. 36 inch, it's a beautiful fish. Yeah. That's nice. His fins aren't messed up at all, little. Yeah. Um, right on this wind blown rock bar, so right where the fish was supposed to be. Yeah. So. It's Dude, awesome. Are you shaking? Thank, yeah. Thank all you right. so much, man. Let's this get her is back. An incredible experience. Let's get her back, get the release shot here. So just here. Just hold oh, on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I got it. I got her. All right. Nice. Dip her head down. Okay. Oh, don't release it yet. Hold on. I no, that one. Good angle. Yeah, hold on. Okay. Flip her head out. Hold the tail. Just hold her tail like this. Like that. Okay. Just like this and just sit okay. up. Okay. Okay. And then she's going to be ready here. Yeah. You got the fish in there? Mm -hmm. right, cool. It's a little dim, but. Yeah, fish that's is okay. In we'll brighten it up. Let me see. Let me feel okay. Okay. All right. She's looking. Ready yeah. for the release. Yep. Here she goes. <laughs> we did it. Woo! We did it. We Good did job, it. Bro. We did it. Yeah, Good job, Trevor. We did it. Whoa. All right, let's get another one. I feel like I did everything right there. You did. It was awesome. I felt like I accomplished my teaching. <laughs> yeah, you did, dude. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? <laughs> dude, he was like, all right, turn it around, turn it around, keep it pinned. Yep, turn it back, turn it back to the boat, turn it back. Yep, there you go, yeah, there you go. Dude, that's literally what you're saying. You're like, there you go, there you go, get it back here, get it back here. I was like, all right, all right. I get pumped. Yeah, I know. I, I was like, when other people catch it. I was like, all right, all right, all right. Brought it back in the boat or brought it to the net. You're like, like a proud dad head nod. That's what it was. <laughs> that's really what it was. It was a proud, proud dad. dad head nod. You're like, well done, son. <laughs> that's literally what it was. I like felt like I just, like you were my dad there. You won your first baseball. <laughs> that's what it was, dude. I hit my first home. Frick. No, I got, I got over you. Like I felt like, like you were my dad after like first home run in Little League, and you gave me the head, and you gave me the head, and I like, well done, son. That's what it was. <laughs> all right, so I don't even know where to start today. We've been grinding it out all day. We documented the whole entire day. We started out really hot. Uh, Trevor had a raised like a mid 40, 45, 46. Yeah. Right there right yeah right next to the boat and then he raised another one about 10 minutes after that i'm like dang yeah my like, guys you guys were you didn't even get the cameras out yet for that so yeah i'm like guys this is gonna be an amazing day um after that it really slowed down it got really cold we i mean we've been we fished hard literally the, yeah. the entire day uh wind was blowing so yes hard. yeah the wind was probably 15 20 miles an hour yeah gusts 25 probably yeah but we did not stop fishing this guy was like as soon as we got to this spot as soon as we got to the spot we're like david come on put the trolling motor down right now <laughs> no come on wasted. david's sleeping in the front of the boat like oh guys i'm, I'm not tired i promise <laughs> but no we were gassed we went off then we went to subway and then we came back to my house picked up my truck and then we went to this other lake now and uh, he said, he's like, guys, I have extreme confidence in this lake, and we are going to get one tonight. And uh, we had, oh, I missed one. Yep. I missed one. I set the hooks too high, and it was, it was totally my fault. But then. And then next time. You, and then you 30 everything, minutes everything after right. that. Yeah. 30 minutes after that, got that one right in the boat. But uh, if you're interested in taking him out for a guide, it's Trevor Cease. At, uh, actually, <laughs> this is funny, before I even tell you. We uh, we were joking around with Inside Joe. We were talking about some YouTube videos and stuff like that. But uh, we actually just came up with his new guide service name. I've been it, looking for one for about a year. Yes, so. he's been he's been looking for one. We got plenty of time. We had all day to plan it and talk about it. 
but uh, right towards the end of the day we just figure out his new guide service so it's Trevor Cease at Beasted Guide Service that's what his new thing is gonna be <laughs> Beasted so Beasted Guide Service by the time this thing airs on YouTube that's exactly what it'll be all his information will be down below this guy's legit he knows his stuff uh, we learned me and David like we learned so much today uh, he was coaching us as we were going throughout the day and a uh, very knowledgeable guy uh, like I learned a ton I I now have extreme confidence now going musky fishing and like just going out on my own like I feel like I learned so, like For so sure. much I'm oh, like, yeah. like literally like just every it, single thing that you said just was between just, that first fish that you lost and that second fish that you caught yeah. it was like total difference yeah I mean even like from last night till I mean even up until we we started coming in like he was just constantly coaching us and telling us what to do like if you want to learn more about muskies definitely take them out highly recommend it and uh, for some reason, I don't think this is going to be a last time fishing. No, for sure. So, so uh, I'll be out soon. Yeah, thanks again for taking us out. Thank you. It was my honor. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time.